I'm the general manager of Flex Support Unit, um, and I have a very exciting role in terms of being the lead for FSU Australia. Today, what I wanted to talk about is FSU's relevance in terms of how we fit and what we provide for the Royal Australian Navy and the importance of FSU in respect to building technical mastery. So today we're standing on HMAS Newcastle and this is the end product at the end of the day. What FSU has done and will continue to do is drive innovation and in particular, the transformation of FSU has been quite substantial. So what we have in the FG SPO, which is actually quite exciting at the moment, is a charter which is established in enterprise. So the FG Enterprise uh, incorporates both the contractors, uh, our sport organisations, which includes FSU. Uh, we're all about getting ships to sea on time every time, and FSU is part of that. Well, ultimately, we're about maintaining frigates, but a frigate is a living, breathing thing. It's a ship that's full of people. So a place like FSU will basically upskill the people so when they get back to sea into their job to maintain the systems, they would have already worked on those systems ashore and they'll be better maintainer at sea. My objective and the team's objective is to ensure that we actually get value-add work that is meaningful for our sailors. Therefore, when they actually go back and actually join a platform, a submarine, they're able to apply those skills. So by increasing the level of skill and competence of our personnel, we can increase the level of availability of our platforms and the seaworthiness of those platforms. So we can get more days at sea per platform and we can also have our personnel return to ships with higher levels of skills. So if those ships fail whilst at sea, the personnel on board are able to uh, remediate any defects or intervene prior to those defects occurring. When you go to sea on a ship, you basically look at everything on that ship, or you might work on one specific system. But the ability of FSU is, when you're a junior maintainer, you can go to many ships. It opens your eyes as a maintainer on things that can go right, things that go wrong, and gives you much more breadth of training than you get just on one ship. At FSU, we're developing the systems and processes to enable our junior sailors to develop their innovative ideas and push them through to the top, being fully funded and implemented. It makes FSU a place that they want to come to work. We give them access to the skills and the, the work that they joined up to conduct. We hope to leave FSU in a, in a place where the best sailors, the best officers and the best technicians can come and work and produce the best outcomes for the Navy. It's important to acknowledge that FSU is in place not to actually take work away from industry. We're not here to actually make a profit. The benefit that industry gains also is that they have a sailor within their workplace applying skills and experience that maybe their workforce may not have. So it's a win-win situation. Also, it gives extra horsepower, so if we need to get something done fast, we can use contractor work and FSUs together to get the thing done on time. So it all culminates here on this platform as an example, ensuring that the material sea within a state is at the state of being able to fight and win at sea. At FSU, we're aiming to make innovation a habit. 